Spoilers for anything 4.6 if you do not want to know, click off the video. But we're going to be talking about the new area coming in 4.6 because obviously like everything else it's been leaked. So we're going to talk about some of the lore aspects of this new area and what it actually entails. I'm personally very excited for this new area because it's going to fill in the gap, that awkward gap with Fontaine and Sumeru. Chinyu Vale sort of filled this gap already and now we might get the last piece. I'm not sure if this new area is going to cover it completely, but essentially we're getting this new area. It's basically just a bunch of water island and a harbor as well. We will be getting Beta Harbor and Petrichor Island and the Lost Kingdom of Remoria. Remoria is the original civilization and kingdom of Fontaine long before the Archons. Beta Harbor is located in Sumeru right across from Fontaine, which is going to be pretty cool because we haven't got a harbor in Sumeru yet that's actually in the desert. Then Petrichor Island that's going to be just kind of chilling in the middle in the water. The biggest part of this new area that's actually going to be unlocked though is going to be the kingdom, our lost kingdom of Remoria. I've covered this extensively in my Fontaine history video, but to summarize the lore behind this place, basically it's the original civilization of Fontaine under King Remus. He was a god that led his people and was very benevolent. He loved arts and culture, and basically Remoria was based off of Rome the same way that Fontaine now is more inspired by France. And like the Roman Empire, Remoria thrived, but their reign would not last forever. And like we see with so many gods like King Deshert, Egeria, the Hydro Archon, Remoria was punished, had many, many floods and tsunamis that plagued that whole area. It seemed Remus, wanting to share his arts, knowledge, and guide humanity and let them have more authority than they were allowed to, pissed off Celestia. So his civilization eventually was drowned. And that is why we're going to be going underwater to actually access this old ancient civilization. We're not going to be able to use the dive mechanic just in the regular water surrounding this island for this new update. But on that island, there'll probably be a pool of water where you can access this underground whole new map area, kind of like the chasm. And it'll most likely be an, its own entity on the map to pick, kind of like the chasm and Enkonomia. Only it'll be the Kingdom of Remoria. Why this is so important is because all these really older civilizations really give us the biggest lore drops in terms of the ancient world, the old world with Celestia and the primordial one. I'm sure we'll learn a lot more about King Remus and when his reign actually took place. Because the way he's described from his people through texts and history sounds a lot like the primordial one was long ago, a very benevolent and good god guiding humanity and trying to lead them. Everyone prospered. But because his civilization was punished, I almost wonder if he lived in that awkward period after the war in the heavens took place where there was a transfer of power of some sort and things changed people started to get punished. King Remus kind of falls under the same category as King Deshert and Oroboshi, gods that just needed to be taken care of by Celestia. An awkward time where the Archon War was starting to brew, the seven nations working under Celestia, given a gnosis, was starting to be established. We know that King Deshert rebelled this whole ideal, and it did not end well for him. Oroboshi, forbidden knowledge, time and time again we've seen this, but King Remus, something similar happened, and him along with his civilization were dealt with. We know sometime after this that Egeria would become the first Hydro Archon, and at some point in time, she concocted this plan with her successor, who would be Fosalor, to reinstate a Hydro Dragon. Fontaine has always seemed to rebel against Celestia in one way or another. Remus working well with humanity, Egeria gifting Oceanids humanity and being punished with a prophecy. And then Fosalor ultimately fooling the Heavenly Principles for 500 years. I'm, I'm really excited to learn what King Remus specifically did and just the history of his people and his civilization. And we might learn a lot more about the old world. But thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Just a little update. But that's going to be all for this video. There's not really much more we can talk about until the patch is actually released and we'll learn a ton more lore. But this gives you an idea of where we're going, this new location, some history, and some lore surrounding it. So you're not going in blind. So I do hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're most excited for this new area. 
or if you're excited for our Lakino or something else. But if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. YouTube tells me that most of my views are coming from non-subscribers, so hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, keep you up to date on all this stuff. I do appreciate y'all watching this far. Thank you so much. And as always, we will see you all in the next one. Later.